Hello everybody, welcome back to Somerset Andy's channel, and welcome back to Froome Parkway. I thought this video today I would show you the full setup with the Gage Master Express Progeny with the Wi-Fi setup. So, uh, basically what I'll do, I'll talk you through all the setup with it. And then I'll show you on my tablet with the Wi-Fi and how the trains actually run through the tablet. So basically, I brought the Progeny Express with, it just comes with the Express with the main box. And I was on Amazon a couple of months ago, I expect now. And they have the Wi-Fi set up on their on offer for like £74. Normally I think they're about £100. So I thought, why not? So I picked that up. Uh, it's awesome because when I go into the middle of the layout, now I can just take the tablet over and I can run the trains through the tablet. So... Obviously, the main controller, as you can probably see, is 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 wired. The main control. It's a wonderful control. Don't get me wrong. It's a wonderful control unit. I absolutely love that. So yeah, so I I bought the Wi-Fi add-on. This is how I set it all up. Basically, on the main unit where you see the white leads going into the double connector. On the main unit. It's called cab jack. Now when I first got the Wi-Fi add-on. Until I got this double connector for it. This is Gage Master as well. The white one is Gage Master. This one is. That little white connection box. Um, I would have to take the plug out from the main control. And plug in the Wi-Fi. So basically, as you can see now, with this little double connection, that goes into the cab jack, and then one's going into the Wi-Fi box, and the other one is going in to the main control unit. And I think that Wi-Fi, that little Wi-Fi adapter from Gaze Master was, it was under £12. And it's made a fantastic difference because obviously you don't want to be taking unplugging leads and that in and out. It's just like an Ethernet connection as you can probably see on them. But you don't want to keep unplugging leads and that. But when you've got this set like this, you can be using the tablet. Then you can just stop the trains with a tablet and then just pick up the main control unit and start running around with that. So it's a very, very clever system. Excuse any wires you can see hanging down at the moment. Because until I've done all ballasting and that, there is going to be a few wires hanging around down there at the moment. But yeah, that's the actual setup with it. So I think with a Progeny, Ace Master Progeny, I think I, I got it from Curno for about £194. You can actually buy it as well with the Wi-Fi complete comes with it. I'm not sure what the price is on that to be honest like. But you can buy it with the Wi-Fi setup as well. The Wi-Fi setup was extremely easy to do on my tablet. Extremely easy. I only use my tablet now when I with the trains here with the Wi-Fi. The software... It's called, I'll show you this next, the software is called Engine Driver and it's a free download on Google and then you just link link it to your Wi-Fi adapter with your Gauge Master progeny and you're ready to go to select locos and run them through your tablet. Right, okay, so next up I will show you the software on the tablet 
and go through that with you. So, I will see you in a few minutes. See you in a minute. Oh, by the way, do you like the little table? The little table I got that on. I'm going to say one of my favourite words. This little table used to be down in the front room. It was like like three different three sliding underneath. So I'm gonna say my favourite word. I utilise this table to fix all this on. Utilisation, see, it's well worth doing. He is slid out a bit in a moment, he slides in a bit farther, it's just to show you it better with the light. Right, okay, I will be back in a few minutes um we'll take a look at the software on the tablet. I will see you soon. Bye for now. Hello, I'm back. Are you in the middle of the layout now? There's my Android tablet. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this is the software. The software is called Engine Driver. It's a free download called engine driver and as you can see I've got three selects on there I hope it picks up okay so basically what you do with it you select your first locomotive and you can select the second one and a third one to actually run through your tablet so I have three Sorry, I'm, I'm holding the camera at the moment. As you can see, let me just sit down a minute. I have three locos there that I'm going to run through the tablet while I'm sat in the middle. The Voyager, Euro Phoenix 37800 and uh, GWR HST. So... I will start these running. This is very, very easy software to use. It really is very easy software to use. And it's great fun. So you just acquire a loco, you click acquire, and you put in the address of the locomotive, and he's there. I set mine up for three locos because I got three loops with the Wi Fi, but you can have up to six if you want to. So that's the three trains that we're going to run. So I will just acquire them all three. And I will run them through the tablet. See you in a minute. Okay everyone. I selected all three locos. So... The engine driver software. First of all, I will start moving the HST. Now you've got a slider bar you can use for the speed. Uh, you've also can use on your tablet or your phone. You can use the volume up and down with this. It's amazing bit of stuff. Amazing bit of free kit. This is the actual software. So let's see if we can get the HST, the GWR HST running. He should start going now. Oh, hang on, bear with me. He's going the wrong way. Hang on. So you've got forward and reverse. Let's press reverse. And we should be able to get this one running. There you go, look. Away she goes. And this is all through the tablet with the Wi-Fi. Right, how mega cool is that? Let's be honest, isn't that mega cool? And there she goes, away she goes. So the HST is off and running. So, and next I've got the, um, the Voyager. So, Let's I'll just speed that one up slightly a little bit. Yep, 
HSC is moving a little bit faster now. It's so, so clever. So next, let's see if we can get the Voyager going. So he, let's see, make sure he's running in the right direction. Yes, the Voyager's off that. Away goes the Voyager. This really is some serious software. Now. I love this Gaze Master control setup. See, now I've just done the Voyager, I can even turn the HST up again. Look. There we go, there's the HST coming through a bit faster. Look. All through my tablet. Slowing down a bit. Right, okay, so we got Euro Phoenix is there. 37. So we'll now with this. Oh, here comes Voyager. The Voyager is just coming through that. There's Voyager going through. This is how mega cool this setup is. So I'm sat in the middle of the railway now. I don't have to like get the control under and through. So you can see the original control unit, he's over there that. There he is, he's over there. And I'm sat in the middle. That's still a mega brilliant bit of kit. I'd probably use it more to be honest if I'm just outside the board. It's brilliant. Brilliant! Oh, bit of fast show. Brilliant. He's over there that. Right. Right, sorry, a bit of fast show there. Brilliant. Right, okay. Um Let's get the 37, and I I can actually fire this loco up on this. Oh, oh, hang on, I'll just stop him a minute. So, oh, oh, hang on, let's, um, bear with me, bear with me, let's fire him up. There we go. Backman Class 37 with Hornby TTS sound I fitted into it. And with CV150 change in that code from 0 to 1, he runs beautiful. So let's get him running as well. We'll just we'll get a beat from him. This is all being done on my tablet here. Look. It's all being done now. On my tablet. Let's get this one moving as well. So there you go. Let's just palm right here a little bit. It's such clever, clever software.
He's wearing a special today, Raymond. fantastic it's a wonderful way to run your train so i've got obviously my phone is android and my tablet's android there is software for apple as well and the software is free to download and it's so easy to set it up and when you don't want the train anymore Ryan, you just stop in then you click on the name on your tablet, the address, and you've got an option to release, and you release the locomotive. It's as easy as that. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's like a sort of weekly update with me. Oh, I think Voyager is just on his way through. Yes, he is. Yep. There's the Voyager going through. 37's coming around. Don't we love 37's? Forty-seven coming through. Ah, oh, no, it's the XST coming through as well, that. So, yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, I'll tell you um, something I'm going to do over here with the church. Um, I've got grass last night. I've got, when you see the scenery going along there, I've got the extra one, which will go along this wall as well like so the next part in with the railway is going to be with the grass mat getting the church scene sorted out a few trees in there and that you know the grass down and that a few tombstones and that that's going to be a plan for that get the back scene on and then start modeling the church area right for a bit of fun and then hopefully the light bleed then um, once the grass match the down and we'll get extra scenery bits around the church hopefully the light bleed will be gone then it's, as you can see the light bleed's coming out at the moment over there so hopefully the light bleed will start to come out then but yeah that's the plan for the layout so Thank you for watching Somerset Andy's channel again. My weekly railway update. And we will see you all again soon. So I will say bye for now. You all take care. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. All take care. Bye bye.